Japanese police raided the headquarters of several offices of a pro Pyongyang group of Koreans living in Japan on Monday. They did it on suspicion of a pharmaceuticals law violation. Let's take a look. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yasuhisa Shiyosaki said Monday that raids were made on the headquarters of the General Association of Korean Residents in Japan. Other branches were also raided elsewhere in Tokyo. The National Security Branch of Police this morning is investigating the charges of infringing a pharmaceutical law and has raided the Tokyo, Shibura, Setagaya branches and the Nagata branches of the Surin. As this investigation is ongoing, I would like to decline from commenting except to say that I am confident that the police has acted according to the law. With evidence and investigation, they'll get to the bottom of the truth. According to media reports, a woman linked to the group affiliated with the pro-North Korean company was given 60 bags of intravenous solution by a doctor and what they say was an unauthorized transaction around May. She subsequently attempted to take the bags to North Korea without declaring them on a ferry used by ethnic North Koreans in May. Japanese media report that the intravenous solution is often used as a nutritional enhancement. About 600,000 ethnic Koreans live in Japan. Many of them descended from the 2 million Koreans brought to Japan as forced labor during Tokyo's 1910-1945 colonization of the peninsula.